Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Previously, I have discussed about 3 level diode clamp multi level inverter circuit, and today we will discuss about the 5 level diode clamp multi level inverter. So, literally, this is a upgraded model of 3 level inverter circuit, and this is very easy to design, nothing complex. So, in the 3 level inverter circuit, you can see we have used phase disposition PWM technique or you can say this is a part of sign PWM technique also so here the PWM technique that works very well uh, if you didn't watch that video I will put the link in the description box and also here you can see the output voltage of a 3 level diode clamped multi level inverter circuit so there are little bit changes in the 5 level circuit so here basically the number of switches would be 2 into n minus 1 n is the number of level so here our number of level is 5 so the number of switches would be 8 and the number of diode is same as the number of switch we are using and here the number of capacitor would be n minus 1 or we can say the 4, cap 4 capacitor is used for 5 level inverter circuit and in case of phase disposition BWM technique or just like PDBWM technique we have to include 2 more carrier signals so let's see how i can add those signals and what is the values of that signals because the frequency of all the carrier signals are same that is 500 hertz only the amplitude is changing so this is very easy this is same as three level just we have to include this two carrier signals of different amplitude So according to the switching table, gate pulses are given to the switches and follow the steps that how I get I am giving this switching signals. And this is very similar to 3 level phase disposition PWM technique which I have used in 3 level diode clamp circuit.
so uh, in the left hand side the pwm technique has shown here and the right hand side you can see the circuit and this is for a one leg configuration and for three phase you have to move for three leg configurations so now let's run the simulation and check the output so in the output you can see that our five level output voltage is coming but here in the upper and lower side uh, you can see some decreasing and increasing in voltage levels because of this charging of the capacitors so actually for uh, for this you have to balance the capacitor voltage so for constant output or you can see the for constant uh, voltage levels you have to just put a balancing circuit for the capacitors so i hope this is helpful for you if you like this video please click the like button and for latest video update subscribe to my channel thanks for watching